Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Quick Tips Power Vision Power Egg. I'm going to go ahead and talk to you today about this little thing that I have in my hand called the Maestro. The Maestro is an amazing um, development that we came up with. I mean, we're not the first to do it, but we've kind of uh, specialized in making this very intuitive, very, in, very easy to use, that anyone um, can use it. I've handed this to my eight-year-old daughter and she had absolutely no problems at all with flying it. So let's jump into it and go over the features of the Maestro. Now, the Maestro is, has to be connected to the base station when you fly it, it's not wireless. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cord that you use for your remote control, and in the bottom of the Maestro, you'll see a port. You're gonna go ahead and plug that into that port, and then go ahead and take this and plug this into the base station. Now you're gonna wanna keep your base station, you know, very close or somewhere near you so that you can actually um, keep the, 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 the bird, you know, attached and everything going smoothly. So what I like to do is normally just hold the base station one hand, maestro on the other. The one really cool thing about the maestro is that it is gesture based. So say I was flying the maestro with the maestro, if I wanted to go left, I would go ahead and turn to the left. If I wanted to go right, I make the drone go to the right, I go ahead and motion to the right. So that's a really great feature if you wanna learn how to fly with as, as easy as possible, this is the way to go. So now what I'm gonna do is gonna go over the different features on this uh, Maestro. Uh, your two buttons here on the right, on your, out, on your left, are gonna be your ascend and descend button. So say you wanna go higher, you're gonna go ahead and down, hold down this button and the drone's gonna go higher. You wanna come down lower, you're gonna hold down the bottom button, the drone will come down lower. The button on the top left is gonna be your auto take off and auto land. To, to auto take off, hold until you feel a slight buzz. The copter will take off about 10 to 12 feet and then hover for your next command. If you wanna land, it's the same thing. Hold, the, the landing gear will come down, copter will come down, land automatically, no problems. Now, if you're out and about and you're flying uh, outside of your sight, which you should never do, but if you do happen to get into that realm and you just can't figure out how to get the drone back, you're gonna wanna punch this bottom button and hold until you feel a buzz, and that's gonna be your return to home. There's gonna be one more button right above the gimbal control, and that's gonna be your command button uh, for a couple different features such as follow me, uh, orbit mode, and so on and so on. Um, so the top button here, now this is your gimbal control. So to control your gimbal going up or down, left or right, you're gonna go ahead and use this button to control the gimbal here on the, on the drone. A really cool thing about the egg is that it's a 360 degree camera. So you could actually use this little turner and move your gimbal 360 degrees either left or right within one twist. On the back side, you have your photo and video start stop buttons. To take a photo, it's a quick push down. And to take a video, it's a quick hold down and let go until you see on your screen that the time frame has started. Also on this is the active mode for all of your um, extra features such as follow me, um, orbital mode, autonomous flights, electronic fencing. Uh, you would go ahead and hold this down till you feel a buzz. Then look to your app and figure out, uh, go ahead and push which feature you'd like to do. If it's follow me, you hit follow me. If it's electronic fencing, you hit electronic fencing. But this is what ign ignites those uh, different features by holding down this button, okay? And then on the very bottom is obviously the port for the cord. Um, a micro USB port for charging of the Maestro. And then right above that is your on and off button. So you go ahead and turn that on. The green lights flash up. Once the green light goes to a solid green, uh, that means that you are connected to your base station and ready for flight. So this is the Maestro in a nutshell. It's a really great feature. I totally insist everybody try this. Thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you next time.